Good morning. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. This is my Mac R with a crazy overpowered Mac V8 engine. It's an E865 uh, e series. Let's go ahead and put the headlights on right now and jump into the cabin. <sighs> Freshly back from the shop, this thing is a real handful to drive. And I am in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, I. Uh, I'm going to pick up a cargo and do a run, but I've got to get myself to Ehrenberg without crashing. And that's been a challenge so far. It's only 30 miles away. How hard can it be, right? I know. Okay, so use automated. Whoa, let me use automated transmission. That's better. I think I might get some fuel. It's, it's a little touchy, shall we say. It's a lot touchy. So we're using an 18-speed transmission today with a 239 final drive, so it's very tall geared. This engine has a governor of 2400 RPM. It'll do 155 something miles an hour. We know that much. Is there fuel here? Is there? Yes, there is. We know it'll, it will go that fast because I've tried it. Getting there and getting back down safely is a different matter. This thing is very touchy. ABS is disabled, traction control is disabled. I mean, it's a Mac R, so do you think it's got ABS? Maybe the, maybe the new ones do, but this one most certainly does not. Okay. Let's go ahead and shut down the air. Uh, how, how big's my fuel tank? I'm not sure. We'll see. Reset my trip. I'll also put the speed up. You can see it in the top of the dashboard there. There we go. Oh, I need to 92 gallons. All right. Okay, quick brush of hair from my face. Go ahead and um, get the lights on. I think we're good to go. We're good to go as relative. Okay, uh, my engine coolant is down the bottom left of the dashboard. And I really don't want to avoid giving this thing beans until it's running close to normal temperature. So I think that might be realistic. Okay, I've reduced the traffic today. Because with 100% traffic, uh, you are a menace. You, you can't use the power. We're at 10%, so we're going to see some vehicles. Most of them will be going a lot slower than we are, and that's okay. Okay, I think we're all looking good here. Sorry for the disorientation. There we go. All right, so what have I done to produce this engine? Well, I've taken the Mac uh, E865. I've tweaked it a little bit. I've tweaked the torque curve a little bit. Uh, oh, a bit of a lock up there. And I bumped up the torque to over 3,000 foot pounds. So it's rated at 900 horsepower. It's That's a lot for a lightweight truck. This thing is picking up nicely. It's kind of noisy as well. Slow down. I may need to tweak the audio when I, uh, when I master this. What's that? Eight high, 80, uh, 99, 95. Okay, I mean it's... It's going fairly well, and we haven't crashed. There's no traffic around, though. I'm coming up to a corner, so I'm going to lift off completely. In fact, um, do I want to... No, I'm going to let the thing slow down by itself. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, it's, it's very nervous. There's my exit. Bit of engine brake. Dum, dum, dum. Crash jet. Okay, it's going to be a bit of a result. Ah, oh, see, it locked and then I stalled. Huh. That um, that behaviour is is it, oh whoa. Yeah, that behaviour is not the most friendly. Now, where's the charge? Charge is on the right. Okay. Get out. Get out of charge. I am glad it's not raining. Um, I'm optimistic that it will be a lot easier to drive with some weight behind. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. What have we got? So, huh, choice of two. Kingman or Port... Oh, I'm not doing that one. That is, uh, that is too far. I guess we'll be doing this one. Now, do we have any choice in the cargo? And the, the kind of wagon. We've got doubles here. A dry band double, okay. All right, we'll go with a dry band double. Double because they're a little easier to drive. Um, maybe. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So it's forty thousand pounds, give or take. Forty one five six. Let's just make a note of what we're doing here because I'm nerdy like that. And my route is going to be lame. It's going to be cross country. I don't, I don't necessarily want to do a cross country route. I might want to do um, more of a, a direct straight line route, but I don't think we have the choice here. Yeah, this thing is dangerous. Let's put my um, beacon lights on. Yeah, I got put them on. Yes, I did. Okay. I mean, wow, you can barely see them from the front. Oh, I'm gonna turn them off. They, they, they don't actually do much. Okay, I suppose. I removed um, advanced coupling, but I still want to drop the, the height a little bit. Try and get it close to where it wants to be. And connect up. Okay, just the right height. Okay, I think we're. Uh, we're good to go. So they set me off into three low. And my engine temperature is close to normal, but not quite. Alright, so oh one last thing. It says we're three and a half hours away. Okay, what is my route? Um Well that doesn't seem very difficult, does it? Why don't we go east on the ten and then up the ninety-three and sort of it's a longer way, but no. No, we'll just stick with, with what the game is saying, because, or what they're now saying, rather. Because um, there's a very good chance I'm going to numpty crash this thing anyway. This is me driving, right? And I have no self restraint with 900 horsepower under my foot. Even now, I just want to see if it wheel spins by just nailing the, the, the throttle or the power. Technically, it's not a throttle on a diesel engine, because they don't have a throttle. I'm just increasing the. Uh, the fuel or the air that's being squeezed in. It's very quiet. That's Turn good. left. All right. Thanks, Doug. Temperatures are still not quite there. In fact, I can actually show that on my dashboard at the top right. What have we got there? Oh, you know what? It's 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 there or there enough. That means we can nail it when we get on the slip road. And nailing it by turn applying left. full power, full torque. And seeing what happens. Quick turn in, cancel the indicator, and nail it. Oh, that's not very exciting. Okay. It's short shifting me, that's fine. I am guessing there's no one behind me. Choose some main beam. Sorry, truck. Okay, I, I think it's picking up nicely. But it's definitely slower with something behind it, a lot more controllable. Hello California, I am speeding. Off the power, bit of engine brake. Exit right. Bit of indicator, bit of, bit of foot brake, a uh, bit more foot brake, whoa. <laughs> this is a challenge. Okay, that, um, that little bit of, whoa. A little bit of brake instability was probably to be expected. Let's see if I brake traction booting it off the line. Yep, I do. It causes the transmission to shift up really early, and it's not good enough. Go in the next gear to brake traction, so that's a very good thing. Okay. The speed limit is 55, but we will be exceeding that. What I want to do is not crash. We all. So I'm going to be uh, just hoofing it between the corners and breaking firmly into them. This is not as ludicrously powerful as that 4,000 horsepower model I took, whoa, took to a Vegas. But I've got the new physics as well. This thing is oversteering. Right, I like it. Bit more turn in, ease of the power, bit of foot brake. Oh crap. Ah, bollocks. So, a combination of oversteer followed very quickly by understeer and very quickly by hitting something. So, how badly did I damage my rig? Pretty badly. 53. I lost a few gears as well. Oh, that's some. Um, 
may also be why as well. My diff was locked. Oops. And there goes my engine. Try and start it. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy. There we go. Got it. Okay. So lessons learned. One, my diff was locked, that's why it wasn't wheel spinning. And two, um, don't go so fast. I didn't really learn that lesson. And am I stuck in six low? Dang. It's the fastest I can go is 75. That's lame. That's very lame. Alright, well, I think on that bombshell I'm going to close it here. Um, that was a, an informative video so far. This is more of a preview as to what's going to be coming soon. Oh, oh stop sign. It didn't skid. Oh, that's good. It was a straight line, of course. Let's try manual. Let's try second low. No, let's try first low. <laughs> This killed the engine again. All right, I am definitely going to close it here for reals. Thanks ever so much for watching. Um, there'll be more of this soon. Um, this truck is a handful. The Macar makes it um, a real challenge. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'll see you in the, in the next one. Goodbye.